So we know where to start tonight. Rangers today are demanding answers from the SFA over that controversial refereeing call in the defeat yesterday. Should referees have to explain decisions after the match? Barry, we had your take yesterday. I'll ask you for it again in a moment or two. Will no we problem. ask Andy, given that uh, you weren't with us yesterday, what did you make of it when that moment and Lagerbielka's on the ball, seemed like for, what, five seconds, yeah. dispossessed uh, by Desers, crosses the ball, um, goal. Yeah. I think what you have off. to do, Paul, is you have to go back and see what VAR was introduced for. Mm -hmm. And I was at the presentation, which I thought was really slick, really professional. And I distinctly remember asking the question, so if I think it's a foul and I'm the referee and you don't think it's a foul and you're VAR, or the VAR won't get involved. I didn't think there was any need for VAR to get involved there. I thought it was a coming together. There was a tangle of legs. And I think you're just getting someone else's opinion. I thought the referee was in a good position to see what took place. He didn't give a foul. Had he given a foul, no problem. Because, you know, you wouldn't have had that... Um, you know, forward play where Rangers actually get a goal and the whole stadium has erupted. But I thought it was a poor use of VAR because it's very subjective and uh, I don't understand why VAR wanted to get involved because it's not right, it's not wrong, it's just another opinion. You should always leave the big decisions to the referee on the field of play. And I don't think there was a clear and obvious error for VAR to get involved. And that's what we were sold. And, you know, you look at some of the other decisions over the weekend, I'm sure we'll talk about it. Yeah. Dreadful. Barry, what do you feel now? Yeah, I think Andy yeah. summed it up perfectly. Mm -hmm. But let the referees ref mm -hmm. the games. Let's um, ignore... Let, what, we've got to ignore, Barry, the colour of the strips here. Yeah, exactly. Just why, why did VAR get involved mm -hmm. when we were all told it wouldn't get involved when it's very subjective? And if you go and watch it, and Andy spot on Don Robertson is in a perfect position. He sees it, lets the, the, the play move on. Obviously, Dessers drives into the box, cuts it back, and it, it's a goal. Um, and I, I've watched it a number of times, Paul, and I think it's a shock of a decision. Is the referee being told, most times if they go to look at VAR, they go with VAR, don't they? I've only ever mm. seen it twice where mm. a referee, nope, I'm happy with my decision and I'll go for it. Mm. And I think sometimes there's a recommendation that you disallow it. I don't agree with, with that language. And uh, I just don't think there was any need for VAR to get involved because is it a foul? Yeah, it might be. It might not be. And mm. everyone can debate it. And you need to be forensic to look at, uh, you know, the tangle of the legs. And even then, you'll still get people who will come down one side or the other. Yeah. VAR was meant to come in to, cor to correct horrendous decisions. You have got this badly wrong. Uh, here, in this instance, I think the ref's made a judgment and you stick with it. The referee on the field of play, he's always got the ear of the players. He can sense the, you know, how the game is flowing. He's got the relationship with uh, the captains, every everyone else. And I don't think there was any need for VAR to get involved. I'm just seeing on Sky there, Andy, your game at the weekend, Aki's goal, we'll come back to that. Barry, uh, the referees can't agree. There's Dermot Gallagher and he said... Yeah, I, I've, again, yeah. I've watched a number of ex-referees have their opinion and it's split right down the middle. Um, but for me, I'm just giving you my opinion. Yeah. I think it was... Um, I think the referee made the right decision with letting it go and obviously VAR's get involved and obviously the, the referee has changed his, his decision, which I find... Barry, I find it, it, strange. it is also a piece of nonsense that we're led to believe that we've gone from getting 92% decisions correct to 96 It's utter guff. It's these subjective decisions, they're not right or wrong because you can you can make a call either way. You can't just put it down, oh, we, we got that one right. Absolute nonsense. And you sh we are, yeah, we are yeah, not, we are not, VAR is not being used and we're not mm -hmm. helping our referees, um, especially some of the decisions this weekend were, were just horrific. We're just seeing it just now on Sky as well. The, yeah. You look at the Celtic players, they're, they're no challenging. Nothing when the game's yep. in full flow there when Dessers is obviously breaking forward. He's just been caught sloppy on the ball, the, the Celtic defender. I think if he'd given a, a, a foul immediately, you'd have said, oh, he is lucky there, mm -hmm. Lagabielka. Yep. He's got away with one. 